Welcome, 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 and greetings to all the busy being better queens and kings. How you guys doing on this marvelous day? Everything's wonderful. I'm so blessed and so excited to be speaking to you all today. Hope everyone's joined in. Any newcomers, welcome aboard. Any new queens and kings, we welcome you over here. My name is Jay, and I'm going to talk today about simplifying life. Simplifying fine life. Give up what you don't need and be glad you did it. So many things can fall into this category. Material things take space and energy to maintain. Toxic relationships tax our positivity and our peacefulness. Worrying and despair over things we cannot change robs our senses of well-being. Very few things in life are a real crisis, really. Very few things are real crisis. Those that are can not be solved by worrying, but by deliberate and thoughtful action. And take decisive action. Take decisive action to cut out the things that complicates and rob you of true contentment. I've begun to clear whole days on my calendar of planned events. These are free days that I can spend spontaneously however I choose. Spending time with friends, family, whatever. And now, of course, we don't need to go completely back to the pioneer levels when I speak of simplicity. But we all could use some improvement toward living a more simple life. There are often many things we feel we should do that, in fact, we don't really have to do. We should get to the point where we can tell the difference in a major milestone in the simplification process. And when we focus more on fitting it all in instead of making time for what counts, we lose sight of how to create a meaningful life. And getting rid of everything that doesn't matter allow you to remember what, remember really who you are. Remember who you are. Simplicity doesn't change who you are. It brings you back to who you are. I believe that a simple and unassuming manner of life is best for everyone, best both for the body and the mind. Because it make thing, if we make things as simple as possible, but not simpler, and have the courage to build your life around what is really most important to you. If your life is simple, contentment has to come. I find that the more, the more simpler we live, the more contented. And simplicity is extremely important for happiness. I don't think it's, it's, it's stressed enough. You know, people think happiness is getting more and doing, but it's 
Simplicity is extremely happy and extremely important to find or be happy. We look in all the wrong places for it. And thinking more and bigger and better is, is happiness when really it's not. Having few desires, feeling satisfied with what you have is very vital. Satisfaction with just enough food, clothing, and shelter to protect yourself from the elements. I know people got closets of clothes they've never taken the tags off. It's not bringing them any satisfaction or any happiness. And to find the universal elements enough, to find the universe enough to find the air and the water exhilarating to be refreshed by a morning walk and evening sauter, to be thrilled by the stars at night, or a wild flower in spring. These are some of the rewards of the simple life. A simple life is not seeing how little we can get by with. That's poverty. I'm not talking about that. But how efficient we can put first things first. And when you're clear about your purpose and your priorities, you can painlessly discard whatever does not support these, whether it's clutter in your cabinets or commitment on your calendar. Life is as simple as three questions. What do you want? Why do you want it? And how will you achieve it? The greatest challenge, I think, in life is to be our own person and accept that being different is a blessing and not a cure. Not a curse, actually, speaking words. Not a curse, not a curse. It's a blessing, not a curse. Be yourself. Do things your way. And a person who know who they are, live simply. Live a simpler life by eliminating from their orbit anything that does not align with his or her overriding purpose and values. And a person must be selective with their time and energy because both elements of life are limited. And the simple life is more an authentic life. The simpler you live, the more authentic your life is. And authenticity, if you live in an authentic life, facing reality without mental equivocations is the simplest type of life. Escape from complicated life. Take refuge in simple things. You will find three treasures there. Healthy body, peaceful mind, and a life away from ambitious fools. Some people just got just can't get enough of nothing. Everything they just can't get enough of it. And when you simplify your life, you will be able to see the life, see your life much better because with a simple life, you get rid of the things you don't need. And it's truly beautiful in simplicity. And when we lead a simple life, we achieve an unknown happiness, a happiness that surpasses any other form of happiness.
Yes. Most of you may not remember the movie Forrest Gump. That has always been one of my all-time favorite movies about life and living. If you haven't ever watched it or don't know, just Google it online and watch it. It is so beautiful and pleasant. And it's a great example of what I'm talking about when I say simplify life. Because I don't want people to say, oh, let's go live in the projects. Or, you know, you want to still have things and have great life. But it just means don't feel like you just got to go to the extreme to have everything. So much of, so much of the same things and everything. Now live simple. Look at it. Reevaluate it. And you will find so much more. Fulfillment, peace, love, joy, and happiness. Thanks so much to everyone for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you will be aware when I do a video. I appreciate each and one of you for listening. Walk in your power, guys. Live simpler. Be happier. Thanks so much to everyone who's watching. Peace, love, and blessings out to each and every one of you.